Hello, so welcome again to another beautiful episode of Reaction on the channel. If you see me for the first time, you're welcome. My name is Daniel and you're welcome to Daniel React. What we do on this channel is to keep you entertained with a lot of engaging content that we also educate and also enlighten you in various aspects. So if this is what you love or you would love to watch, what you need to do is to hit on the subscribe button, like our videos and also drop a comment in the comment section telling us what you think and your thoughts about the video so without further ado don't forget to also share our videos it helps us to build the brand better and you can tend to support the channel with a little you can check the description you will see um, buy me a coffee where you tend to support us with a little you can which is on the screen so thank you and let's dive into today's video so who ran Gaza up until 2005? Same No. Israel did. Israel used to occupy the Gaza Strip. 10,000 Jews left Gaza. The IDF totally withdrew. Why did Israel do that? You tell me. You're the one at the table. To pursue peace. Because they, they were promised a peace deal if they got out of Gaza. Then Hamas took over as mayor of Gaza, and it's now a hot tub for terrorists where there are thousands of rockets so every single the, month. Where was the peace that happened after they withdrew? Exactly. Israel signed a peace accord and the PA violated it. But so, so this is the way peace... Occupying territory. They weren't occupying. They got out. But you just said Israel occupied that territory Correct. in Gaza until they got out. So that's not... No, no. But they got out on a condition of peace. So they said, we will get our 10,000 Jews out of Gaza. So 10,000 Jews used to live in Gaza. Like recognize that they were occupying someone's territory and that's on well so, so who, who is gaza's territory who's is that egypt it's been it's been egypt for two thousand years okay so how so since you're you understand this maybe um how did israel win back that territory Sinai, right so in the 1967 war they pushed back egypt all the way to their borders and so they they gave up the sinai desert in pursuit of peace with egypt that worked so then they kept the occupation of Gaza, which there's factories and rolling hills and vineyards, a lot of wealth there. There's two million people that live in Gaza, more or less. Okay. 10,000 Jews lived on the eastern skirt of Gaza. So in pursuit of peace, in the 2005 peace talks, Israel said, you know what? We want peace in, as a condition. We'll get out if you guys have real peace with us. Stop launching rockets, stop building terror tunnels, stop killing our children, all these sorts of things. Are you pro Hezbollah? Or? Can I ask a question? Sure, happy to. What formal education do you have? Plenty. I mean, formal education. Like a if, if you're going to argue, if you're going to argue from authority, that's a logical fallacy. Tell me why I'm wrong. Don't tell me how many degrees you have. Don't ask me to change the conversation. I'm actually. I, I would. I would argue I'm more informed because I didn't go to college and I've traveled the world and I've met with world leaders and I've read many books. So tell me. How am I oppressive? Can you name one example of how I'm oppressive? I can name a lot of examples. Can you name one? Name one example of how I'm oppressive because you just said it. literally here telling people that they are wrong about the views and Well, no, they just don't have facts. Can you tell me one time that I've been wrong about anything I've said? Tell me a time that Israel has launched an offensive war. It's Lebanon. You, they didn't. They're, they're attacking Hezbollah. That was, it's within their borders. It was to Lebanon. They don't just attack Hezbollah. Hezbollah occupies southern Lebanon, which is Iranian-funded, is it not? Really? I had no idea. Thank you for informing me. Anytime. Me. Maybe so if you didn't go to college, you would learn more. Oh, you're so right. You're so right. Here, here's the thing. But like, IDF is a terrorist organization. How is the, I, the IDF is a terrorist organization? Yeah. No, according to a lot of people. Wait, hold on a second. The ID. Not me, but like a lot of countries around. Why is it that they haven't built a new school or hospital in the last five years? Hundreds of millions of dollars pour into Gaza. It's because Hamas runs Gaza right now, and they're a terrorist organization. So Israel got out of Gaza in 2005 in the pursuit of peace. 10,000 Jews were actually forced out of their homes in the pursuit of peace. Gaza got more dangerous. It became a hot tub for terrorists. You know where Hamas's money is being spent? On terror tunnels and rockets being shot towards Tel Aviv. Where were those two rockets shot two weeks ago out of? They were shot out of Gaza. Yeah, two rockets. Oh, what's the big deal? Yeah, wh wh who cares when Jews have rockets shot at them, right? Because... Israel is, is fighting a defensive right for its own national sovereignty. All Israel has done since 1967 is go backwards. All Israel has done. The UN sent an Asian diplomat, I forget his name exactly what it was, to go investigate crimes against humanity in Gaza. Israel did not allow him to enter Gaza because they said his visa wasn't valid. And that was published in an Israeli newspaper. Okay, so I'll have to look into that. If that's the case, then I'll, I'll say that you're correct. Um, but here's the question, though. So. Israel is the only democracy in the Middle East right now. They're practicing democracy. 
Muslims, Jews, and Christians. Well, they they, they can. Hold, hold on a second. Hold, hold, first of all, many Palestinians in Palestinian Authority that is in Zone B, not Zone A, can vote in elections. Secondly, secondly, here's the question: you want, So you want them to be able to vote both in PA elections and Israeli elections? Why hasn't the PA had an election in 12 years? Mahmoud Abbas is a dictator of the PA that uses the money and the aid that we give him to enrich himself. Mahmoud Abbas. Hold on a second. Hold on. Oh, hold on, but I thought he was democratically elected. So why don't you guys have students against the Palestinian Authority, not students against Israel? The Palestinian Authority... Oh, I, I, I thought well, the Palestinian Authority was democratically elected 12 years ago. Mahmoud Abbas has not had any checks and measures against him. In Nablus, he lives in a 25,000 square foot mansion. Here, here, here's the bottom line, is that Arabs are better served under Israeli government than under the Palestinian Authority government. Arabs are... I'm sorry, what? Yeah, wait, wait, I'm sorry, what? When they're in the ground dead, that's where a majority of Palestinians end up. What are you, a majority of Palestinians end up dead? How dare you say something like that? There's, there's 15 and a half million people that live in the Palestinian Authority. Half of them end up dead? So you're, you're trying to tell me that seven and a half million Palestinians have been killed? Is that what you're trying to say? I've never seen that number. Well, it's actually, actually 15 and a half million is if you count the PA and Israel together. You're right, it's more like, it's more of 6 million in Palestinian Authority, 9.5 million in Israel proper. So it's about 15 combined. So, six million, so you're trying to tell me 3 million people have been killed? 3 million people have been killed by the IDF? That's not even close to being true. Yeah, so let me, let me ask, let me ask. There's a difference between Zionism and anti-Semitism. Then build, build out that, build it out for me. So let me get this straight. You, you, you don't hate Jews, you just hate the Jews' right to exist no, in their homeland. Wait, hold on a second. That's a, the, not black. What, you want me to exist. Yeah, exactly. Like, so that, that, that's one of the worst identity <laughs> politics <laughs> arguments. Just because I'm not something, it doesn't make me wrong. How, how so? Because there is no separation of church and state. Then why, the why can, let me ask you a question. Why can Christians freely practice their religion in Israel, but Jews can't freely practice their religion in the Palestinian Authority? How are Jews not practicing it? What happens if an Israeli citizen goes into a Bethlehem? What, what happens if a Jew goes into Bethlehem? What happens if a Muslim goes into Jerusalem, they can go to a mosque. That's what happens. You know what Al Aska Mosque? Well, hold on a second. They have full access to the Al Aska Mosque. I was there myself. I was around 500 Muslims on the Al Aska Mosque. Hold on a second. Jews' heads are cut off in Hebron if they go to Hebron. Jews and Israelis are not allowed in Palestinian Authority. So I, I was in Hebron three weeks ago. You know what happened? If a Jew goes. If, if a Jew goes to Hebron, their head will get cut off. Well, okay, so Jews are not allowed in the Temple Mount? You do know that, right? No, I'm saying Palestinians, Muslims going into Al-Aqsa. Right, so yes. I, it, it's very hotly debated. No, actually, when no, I was is. there, I was praying at Al-Aqsa, and I saw is IDF soldiers coming in while I was praying. Did How they stop you? Did they stop you from praying? They, they throw, like, tear grass. No, no they don't. Not the Al-Aqsa mark. Did they stop you from praying? I shouldn't be in fear while but I... But they don't do what you, you say they're doing. I'm just telling you, it's not true. Did they, but I, I, I don't think you're representing reality. I was literally there. So let me ask a question. I, 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 I was there. You, you should not be able to prove your religion. You should be able, if a Muslim... Okay, that's a really interesting point. So Jews should be allowed on the Temple Mount. Because the Muslims don't allow them on the Temple Mount right now. The Jordanian control but the Temple was, Mount. It was since the Prophet Muhammad. It was it was it was there since the Prophet Muhammad. Oh, okay, so do you think it, here's the thing? So you think do you think Jews should be allowed on the Temple Mount? It's it's a. So you don't think it's a Temple Mount because if you do, that's the very interesting thing. If you just say it's a Temple Mount, I, I'm putting you in a, admittedly in a very difficult position because Muslims do not recognize it as the Temple Mount. Right, they recognize it as their place of worship, and it's been that way since the beginning. No, it's been the Temple Mount since King David. Thank you very much. So. I mean, you could say whatever you wanted to say. I, it's a huge point. It's actually like it's one of the biggest inhibitions of peace. I think that Jews and Muslims and Christians should all be allowed to go to the Temple Mount. Right now, Muslims do not allow Jews to go into the Temple Mount. One rabbi is allowed to go in once a year. That's it. That's that. That's the treaty. Why is that? It's just, how is that fair? Why are Jews not allowed to go?
But it's, I, I mean, Muslims are allowed to go to their holy sites. You, you just said you were allowed to go. To go. I, I, and if, if that's the case, then I'll totally denounce it. But you, you are a living example that you were allowed to go. <laughs> well, guys, a whole lot have been saved from this philanthropist, and this is a massive one. I love the fact that he did a massive job on it, and it was well explanative and. I know you've learned something from what you have to say concerning this um, situation on ground or this um, issue rather. So um, let me have your own thought and view relating to this um, particular one and in line. Please and please drop it in the comment section. No insultive words, let's not um, cause uh, a sin in the comment section. So I'll be expecting your comments, drop it in the comment section. So if you want us to be friends, why not? Hit on the subscribe button, turn on your post notification bell so you get notified by YouTube anytime videos like this drop. For all our returning subscribers, I appreciate you all for always coming back to check on any of the updates or videos we have on the channel. I appreciate you all. I don't take a lot for granted. You guys are the real MVP. So thank you guys, I appreciate you. I, I own a right to this particular one. All right belongs to the rightful content creator of this great piece of art, which I don't intend to infringe on the copyrighted materials. The main purpose of this video is to educate, enlighten you, and also inspire you um, in the little knowledge you haven't known. So thank you. If you intend to support this channel, why not? Check on the description, you'll see where you can support the channel, buy me a coffee, that way you tend to support us with a little you can, let's build the brand better. I know with your support, with everyone's support, with our collective support, this brand will be further. So thank you, don't forget to like, it helps the algorithm to push this video to a larger audience, and let's build the brand better. So thank you, see you in the next one, do what, stay put, stay safe, and stay subscribed. Before I forget, if you have a video recommendation you want me to react to, drop it also in the comment section. I'll be excited to react to the video of your choice. So come your way. See you in the next video. It's bye for now.